Alina says, should you tell him that you love him if you feel that he loves you and he feels that you love him? <laughs> From how we both act, you can tell or just feel? I mean, you want to, you might, I, I did a full thing on this not too long ago, but what you want to do is you want to feel it out, right? And you want to kind of talk about things that you love about each other before you like start dropping the L-bomb. And so, yeah, I mean, just feel it out a little bit more. Try to get him to say it. You can, you can actually get him to say it first, which is the best way to do it. <laughs> Guys think it's the, I, so whoever you are, whether you're a guy or you're a woman, it, it's always better to get the other person to say it first because they're the one that's taking the risk. And so if you can kind of like get into this space of like talking about like, you know, initially talking about things that you like about each other. I have a game that I play. It's a fun little game. It's called the, uh, do you know, it's called something like, do you, I can't, I don't even know the name of my own game. It's called, uh, do you know what I like about you? And so what you do is you say, you know what I like about you? And then you say things that you like about the other person. And then you go, your turn, your turn. Like, what do you like about me? What do you like about me? You know, and, and it can be this fun game where you just like, basically you're framing your attraction for each other. And it's a, a really cool thing that you can do. And you, you start off doing that. And then eventually you can kind of get into like talking about like things that you really like love about each other, right? Like, I just love it when you do this. I just love it when you do that. Like, it's, it's like, oh my God, like when you say that to me, like makes me feel so good inside and oh I just feel so cared for and like I've got this big strong man here for me that's just mm, like it's one of my favorite things right and just keep keep it going you know and and dial up the emotions dial up and dial down the emotions that's what you do that's that if you want it to move further and further in that direction is just dial it up and dial it down like that's that's the power that's where you get a lot of power and you'll get him like feeling it and and he'll start getting kind of like almost addicted to that feeling and then you know eventually he'll be like looking at you and he'll he'll you guys will be hanging out with each other maybe you guys are making love or something and he's like looking at you and he's like oh i want to say it i want to say it i want to say it right now should i say it ah you know and then eventually at some point he'll let it slip I mean, you can too. It's it's not that big of a deal. I mean, you can always say it. it what it does when you say that, because it's like kind of a pivotal moment in a relationship, is it kind of like lets a little bit of a steam out, you know? It's like, you know, opening a pot or something and letting a little bit of steam out. But it can also be really, really powerful if you're kind of in the moment and you're both feeling it and it's just like you're right there and you say it, like it can be really, really powerful.